You know, as a former international airline captain, I've flown people to some of the most gorgeous places around the world. And the overwhelming majority of those flights were smooth and uneventful, which is just how you want them to be. But every once in a while, we'd run into some bad weather, and we'd have just a rocking and rolling turbulent ride. But folks, that's the way it goes. Because sometimes to get to that ideal place in life, whether it's in your travels or in your professional, even your personal lives, you got to be able to navigate through that turbulence and come out on the other side. And that the principles of building a culture of excellence are timeless. They are as relevant today as they were a decade ago, a generation ago, or even back to the very days of Aristotle. If you got on that Delta airplane with me, and I'm not having my best day, wouldn't you still expect me to fly that jumbo jet with excellence? Yeah, of course you would. Can you imagine? I come on the microphone in my very confident captain's voice, and I say, well, we're gonna try to get you out to Honolulu tonight. So, gotta be honest, I'm really not having that great a day. Absolutely phenomenal, inspiring speaker. Brings you out of your seat, gets you in a process of thinking, and makes you want to do more and be a better person. I've been around this business for a while, and I've been enmeshed in these principles of excellence because of my parents, literally since I've been a child. And over time, my parents instilled in me a culture of excellence. Well, my mama taught me the importance of doing an excellent job when I was just seven years old. You see, washing the dishes used to be one of my chores. Well, it was a Saturday morning. And we'd had a late breakfast as my neighborhood buddies are right outside my screen door waiting for me on the back porch. So I'm rushing to get these dishes done. And my mom walks by and picks up a fork that I had just washed. She said nicely, honey, this fork's still dirty. You didn't do a very good job. I said, give it to me, mama. I'll wash it again. She said, sweetheart, do your best the first time. You never have to do a job over again. Folks. But I'm here to tell you from personal experience that most people are successful in life because they've made a conscious decision, because they've made a choice to be. I learned a long time ago as a cadet at the United States Air Force Academy that excellence is indeed a combination of training and habit. Excellence is an art built on training and habituation because we are what we continually do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. It was an unbelievable speech, very inspirational. And uh, he did a wonderful, masterful job. I really appreciate the uh, inspiration, the speech. Never have I seen such a presentation. He talked about his experiences with passion, with gusto. T was well prepared, perhaps better prepared than any speech I had ever seen. He delivered it with perfection. And uh, this is a hallmark of how he carries himself as a presenter and as a leader. We all have excellence in us. The problem is we're not programmed to strive for excellence because it's human nature to take the easy way out. So excellence, defined very simply, is doing the very best you can the very first time. I mean, if you do your best, you're gonna do better than most because most people aren't gonna give you their best. Most people aren't committed to excellence. We all have excellence in us. It's about understanding that you can get what you want in your business or your profession, even your personal lives, if you just learn how to develop the discipline to consistently do your best. Because that's what our journey through life is all about. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am Captain T.